guess what guys we're back in spain okay so yes new hairstyle one two new country crazy and if you are new here my name is dom super happy to have you if you're not welcome back we were already here and we're back in mallorca spain because we have more wedding planning to do list to do and i am so freaking excited to like get these things checked off and just like enjoy our time here in spain our last trip was super short and we were just like venue shopping and this time we're like we're going back to our venue we're picking out the decorations we're the, picking out the flowers we're tasting our menu we're tasting the cocktails and then we're just gonna explore the island and just have like some like me and Dave on time that's like not just like us working from home together but like just a nice vacation and I'm so so here for this I'm so excited so our whole we're gonna be here for like a whole week we're leaving Sunday we're here today's Tuesday so we're here for until Sunday so we have like a lot more time than we did last time because it was just purely venue shopping last time and I'll like link a little card of like if you want to see like some of the venues that we toured in the last vlog and this week we're gonna be going to like different markets we're also training to get to six miles like I can already run six miles but my friends and Davon were all like I'm helping Helping them train up into six miles so we're gonna be running here and that's gonna be so beautiful I cannot wait for that and then we're gonna probably go to like a beach and the market and all that kind of stuff and I am so ready for it I'm so ready so it's gonna be a very fun vlog okay because we're in Spain and we're gonna have the greatest time so enjoy and let's get this party started <laughs> So we took the fattest nap and now we're actually walking to the hotel we're gonna be staying at for our wedding and just like checking it out, checking out the area uh, because we stayed like outside of the square before but not like inside the square. So we wanna walk and just see what's around it, like clothes and stuff like that. And then we're gonna go have some food at Koa, which is a restaurant we wanted to go to last time and we didn't get to go to because there was no reservation, which is why we didn't go. Okay, so we just checked out our hotel for the wedding. And wasn't it nice, Dave? Yeah, no, it was nice. It was huge. It was huge. Like the rooms, not the hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the hotel. <laughs> but the room sizes are humongous and honestly i'm very happy about that but very very exciting it was so nice to see all of it and just like where we could potentially take pictures probably like on the rooftop or like in that front square part so in a good mood so that was good now we're gonna just try to figure out what we're gonna eat something small before dinner and then yeah because i'm starving and then we're gonna just be out in the town explore a little mallorca Wednesday. I was about to say Tuesday, but it's literally Wednesday. We're about to head on our three mile run today and we're out here. So it's actually really, really pretty. Um, we walked a little bit because some of the alleyways are a little slick and now we're stretching. You see Dema? So we are about to go only three miles today. Friday is four. So that should be interesting, but it's going to be a good run. I feel it. We got the headphones plugged in the Nike Run Club app ready. And we're about to crush it. I'm kidding, that's aggressive. The fact that we just saw sunrise at the cathedral is crazy. We actually picked the perfect time to run. Okay, so we just hit our halfway point and we're heading back right now. Um, we're only doing 3.1 today, so just a regular 5K. So now it's back to Palma we go. But it's so beautiful running over here. Look at that. All right, we just hit three miles. That was a good one. We have 0.1 left, well, 0 0.08. So we're almost done. Okay, we just finished. Now we're about to head back to our hotel, but we killed it, that was good. 3.1 miles in and honestly that was such a pretty route 
I'm very happy we did that. So happy. But now we kind of have to like rush because we have to go meet our wedding planner to go check out some of the welcome party venues. So we kind of have to like skirt, skirt all the way back to the hotel. At least wash our face and head out. Okay. To the pharmacy we go. I hope they have water. Oh, maybe not. Oh. Water time. We're at the docks right now. We are picking an option, either the beach club or a boat tour for the welcome party right now. So we're just checking out what the actual like catamaran looks like and if this is like an option for us. We see one in front of us, but we don't actually know if this is like the catamaran or if there's another one that's pulling off shortly. But it's actually really nice. I feel like people would love it. So we'll see, we'll see. right now and why are you, I want to say the sugar in it is like 15 grams of sugar in this than it is in the US. Let's just think about that for a second. All right, we just finished lunch right now. We're about to head to Market del Olivera. Um, I'm kind of getting better at my Spanish, not really, but I'm gonna practice. So when we come here next time, I can say some full sentences. I just learned that Risi is la cuenta. So. We're back outside after spending a little bit of time inside because we needed to rest because we were doing so much today. Now we're heading to dinner right now. Um, I will put the name of it on the screen, but it's like a Japanese Peruvian fusion and I'm really excited about it. But we have to rush because I took a little too long. We just finished eating at our restaurant and we went to De Tokyo. I keep on saying Tokyo, but it's De Tokyo a Lima. Um, and it was really good. It was a, I think it was Japanese and Peruvian fusion, kind of, but not really. Um, it was really good food though. I felt like it, was, it had like Asian flavors. I feel like it was like consistent with the vibes of like Mallorca and like the meals that you eat here with like Asian hints. And I really, I enjoyed it. It was really cute, it was pretty. It was on a terrace outside um, and it had like really cute vibes. But now we're gonna go to bed. Tomorrow's gonna be a fun day of more coffee shops and then a jam-packed wedding planning schedule. We're gonna be doing the decorations, the flowers, um, and then we're doing our boo tasting, which is really exciting. I cannot wait for that. So that's the vibe, but we're gonna head to bed and then we're gonna have a day of fun. So. I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Morning, ladies. So, we are going to be doing a lot of things today, and we have a pretty jam packed day. We are going to go to some coffee shops, and then we're going to brunch, and then we're going to pick our flowers for the wedding venue, and then we're going to get our decorations for the wedding venue, and then we're going to be trying out the food for the menu and the drinks. And I'm really excited for that. By now, I'm just getting ready. Um, and putting on a little bit of makeup. I'm just gonna wear this all day. This is the dress that I got from South Wind Under. It is so cute and it has pockets. That is the vibe of today. And I'm really, really excited actually. 
and we're just gonna get the day started. I just gotta put on the rest of my makeup and then we're gonna have the door. Even though it is, it is 11 o'clock, but I'm almost done, so. back on the streets again and we're about to head to no tea which is another coffee shop um that should be up ahead soon and really excited about it it looks like it has good food and good coffee um let's hopefully their iced coffee tastes good if they have it i saw cold brew on it but we'll see because this morning that iced coffee i don't know what that was i said please i still drank the whole thing though but it was not the best i will say that Spicy Mark. Spicy Mark. Y'all heard it here first. But he's still gonna drink his ginger meal. <laughs> Morning. I'm about to start getting ready for my hair trial. And pretty much for those who are wedding planning or like thinking about getting married or just want to know more um your hair trial is basically what you do like months before your actual wedding so you can make sure that you like the hair or just test out different hairstyles that you're going to be doing um if you are having a like wedding in your like state or just like in the country that you live in you can just do that when you're there um for me though because i'm not like flying in a hairstylist that's like why we're here. It's another reason why we're here and made a whole nother trip so that I can use a hairstylist that's already living here that can do my hair. But I am going to be like getting my hair actually done, like my sew-in and stuff like that is going to be done in the U.S. because but no, I'm not doing it here. Anyway, um, that's pretty much what a hair trial is. Okay, a little update about yesterday since I actually did not even talk during our little um, food tasting. So... Um, it was all really good. Like, I think that all the food that we tried and that we picked out, like the menu and everything, was like fantastic. Like actually, I'm not even gassing it or anything. Like the food was actually so good and they cooked it so well. And you always hear these stories about like wedding food not being good or whatever. And I've only been to really like two weddings in my whole life, truthfully. You know what I mean? Um, in my like my remembering age. But this food was so good and just so like it was just cooked really well the steak was good the lamb was good that we had the fish was good chicken was good like all the side dishes were really good like it was just a very great menu and i'm very very happy that we opened that what a food tasting is which you guys like saw in the video and i can just like also put some clips here too but pretty much like what your food tasting is like you just taste your entire menu like literally everything that they will have on your menu you are trying for some people who probably do like like you're doing like actual plates like you have like three set menus like you're gonna have like the same appetizer probably the same like soup or something like that and then everyone gets like a different like you either pick chicken or like steak or seafood like you'll probably just try those for us we're having a barbecue style wedding which means that there's going to be a slight performance slash people can just like kind of like buffet style grab their own food and we just wanted that so no one like left hungry and they can eat what they like to eat and there's no i don't know i just don't want people to like have a set meal or like we don't want people to have a set meal and like they didn't like the food or they were still hungry or something like that uh, no person is left hungry okay so yeah that was the vibe i was very very happy but we were incredibly full there was so much food it was ridiculous like i can't even explain to you the sheer amount of food that they made for only three people and our wedding planner actually came with us 
for this. So we tried all of the wines that are gonna be there. We tried the special drinks and then we also tried the cocktails that they're gonna be making for us. And all of the cocktails, uh, plus like a surprise one, were so good. Uh, I'm a tequila girl, so we had a spicy marg. And then we have a ginger mule and um, honestly a special drink. It tastes really good. I don't really remember the Spanish name. But let me tell you, it is yummy. Also, I just put on my makeup backwards, so please, please do not come for me. I put my blush on first and my highlighter because I was not thinking while I was talking. So, anyway, um, that was that. So yesterday was a lot of fun because we got to do like the, all the wedding decorations um, or like just talk to the wedding florist about like what we want and like um, well, not what we want because we didn't really have like a really good idea of like what we wanted Like we knew like the table set up, but we didn't really know the ceremony and we got to choose We got to choose we got to listen to her ideas and plans and she's gonna send us like some mock-ups And then we also got to pick our plate sets um, And like how we want the actual plate to look which is exciting. So that's the dealio. That is the tea of what happened yesterday I'm almost done my makeup. I'm not really not doing anything crazy so this is the hair trial of the hairstyle that I'm probably gonna have for the wedding. Um, not with this, these beads, um, and my hair will be longer, but she did a really good job, and I like it. I feel like I can dance, I can move, and it's gonna be a fun time. So that's that's the vibe. And now we're gonna have some fun in Mallorca. Actually, after we eat, because I'm literally starving. And this is the first thing that we did today, so. We decided to walk over, it's really windy right now, but to the Royal Palace, where we might have a little bit more to walk, but that's where we're going right now. It is so packed. Here, let me show you guys. tickets so now we're gonna head up to the terrace and see what that looks like so okay we just walked up like five billion flights of stairs it was a it was a lot okay there there's no elevator down look at that look at down there we climbed all the way up anyway we're at the terrace so we can overlook all of it we have to climb crazy stairs to get there so we're a little out of breath Good thing we didn't run our four miles early in this. But I think the view is definitely worth it. It's 20 euros. You climb all the way up. And look, you get to see amazing views of Palma. We found a secret entrance. It's not really that secret, but holy shit. Oh my gosh, I, we took a picture of this. This part is right atop of the cathedral okay we just did the terrace and cathedral tour it's about 20 euros honestly i would say it was worth it we went all the way to the top it was like 139 steps but then you can see like all of palma from the top of there but it's not for the faint hearted i don't think because them steps my claws are burning we're gonna head back we might run um slash maybe we'll find food instead we're not sure yet we just ran 4.4 miles yeah we did that i'm still kind of in shock but now we're getting smoothies from what is this called the, the martinez juice company right here um and then we're gonna go have some coffee and eat some food but we really did that how do you feel You know, sometimes you gotta do hard things on vacation. But yeah, today's maybe another um, pretty chill day. Actually, actually, yesterday wasn't really chill. Like we said, it was chill, and then we walked around for like hours. So today will actually hopefully be a little bit chiller. I think. <laughs> We just left one of our favorite restaurants, and now 
we're back at Plaza Mayor. Mayor, I believe. Oh, we're going to a coffee shop. No one believed me when I said the freaking Transformer. And look, it's back. I was trying to explain it to our wedding planner. I was like, you know, like Plaza Mayor or Mayor, Mayor. I was like, it has the Transformer in the middle. He was like, Transformer? I was like, mm. no one believes me, but it's right there. All right, I'm about to head home, and if we basically landed in gate K, right? And we're in the Madrid airport, so we flew from Palma to Madrid, Madrid back to DC. We landed in the K terminal and we have to get to the next terminal madrid madrid is so fucking big that we have to t it's gonna take us over like 30 minutes in order to get to our international gate on the other side in terminal four so i personally probably was going to be flying into here anymore because it's insane we're like running and our connecting flight is in less than 40 minutes so we're just like hoping we can get over there in time honestly i'll update you all right after that full journey we made it on the plane but i'm gonna end the vlog here thanks so much for coming along with us and i will see you in the next video bye